Hi, I'm Dr. Sebastian Zalz with Performance Place. Today's topic is sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is like osteopenia or osteoporosis for muscles. It's a loss of muscle size and strength and functionality due to usually older age, but mostly inactivity. Now, it's not uncommon for people to get this even into their 30s, 40s, 50s, a loss of muscle size and strength due to, again, inactivity, muscular injury, tendon injury, joint injury, and so on. Today, I'm going over six common questions that I get in regards to how to combat sarcopenia. Before we go into the questions, let's figure out first how muscles respond and how muscles increase their size and strength. So, again, the, the topic of this is not to get or the point of it is not to get huge like a bodybuilder, it's just mainly to increase it enough to sustain functionality or make you work the way you're intended to work. Muscles respond to loads. Just like bones, if you increase the amount of load on it too much, it breaks and that end up in a muscle tear. If you do it slowly in a controlled environment, then you actually increase size and increase the amount of ability for it to function and basically lift. So that's why when you see someone lifting at the gym, they might start out with, say, a 10-pound weight, and then they move to a 20, then a 30, and then so on. And well, over the course of a year, things dramatically change, and they're lifting a lot of weight. Now, all these questions that, I, that I'll put up here are, there's going to be a definitive yes or no, but I'll tell you the reasons why I would change things. So uh, there's gray area in all, of, in all these, but for the most part, think about the, the theory of how muscles uh, respond to loads and so on. So the first question is, is yoga enough? And I'm going to say no, it's actually not. So yoga's, yoga's good, and the reason why I don't like it for combating sarcopenia is because you're only using your body weight. You're only getting so far, you can only increase load so much, and I never see anybody do yoga with a weight vest on or holding weights. So it's great for beginners or people that are deconditioned, but at some point you're going to have to go to something a little bit more extreme. Next question, is walking enough? And walking is okay, uh, but it's not enough to combat sarcopenia. There, again, we're looking at body weight activity, we're looking at limited range of motion, and we're looking at large amounts of repetition. So walking is not bad, and it's great for beginners, but it's not gonna be the best thing at combating sarcopenia. Next question is, is running enough? And running is a little bit better mainly because the amount of load you're putting on the muscles and tendons are a little bit bigger. If you think about the amount of force that you'll get from dropping maybe a bowling ball from right here to here, it'd be a, it wouldn't feel good, but if you dropped it from the ceiling down here, it would be a lot more. So the more force you put on these muscles and tendons, the more work they're required to do. But keep in mind that running doesn't take the place of resistance training. It's actually considered cardiovascular fitness. I'm sure that you've heard this a lot. So cardiovascular means heart. It's great for heart health, but if we're looking to combat sarcopenia or musculoskeletal injuries, you have to do something that's gonna stimulate that a little bit more. And that'd be more towards resistance training or higher weight. Next question I get is, are squats and lunges enough? So I usually ask, how much weight are you doing? And they'll say, well, I'll do body weight or five to 10 pounds and so on. So if it's that much, usually the next question I'll ask is, how many reps are you doing? And if they say past 15, upwards towards 40 or so without taking breaks, then the answer is gonna be no. So a lot of times to increase muscular size and strength and combat sarcopenia again, you need to work in a smaller rep range and that's gonna require higher weight. So. If you can do 15 of, of one exercise and keep going, but you choose to stop, you can actually do a lot more weight, assuming your form is right. Next question I get is more of a concern, usually after the fact we're talking about increasing weight, is are you gonna get bulky? Am I gonna get bulky from weight training? Um, and I would say no, but there's a very there's a big large variable with this and it's how much do you do do you take supplements how often are you working out and how much weight are you pushing so most people that look like that that look like big raisins they have all these huge muscles they weight train maybe four or five six times a day sometimes do two times a day take supplements sometimes they take naps to increase the amount of growth hormone they're getting so there's a lot of variables in it, and those people, it's, it's their passion, it's their main goal. So my suggestion to combat sarcopenia is maybe do two days a week of heavier resistance training. So at this rate, are you gonna get bulky? The answer is no. 
Last question is toning. Can I just tone? I don't want to get big. Can I tone? And the answer is no again. A lot of times, mainly because the idea behind toning, quote unquote, is that you're working up with higher rep ranges again. Past 15 or so a lot of times is very low on the percentage of one rep max, we call it. There'll be a different article I, I have uh, addressing this topic. But for the most part, it's better than nothing. It's, it, it is better than doing no body or no weight or just body weight. So if this is all you want to do, that's perfectly fine. But there's quicker ways to combat sarcopenia and that's going to be working with higher amounts of weight with the right amount of range and having the right strength program, keeping it safe to go along with the amount of weight and range of motion that you're using. So uh, again, toning, so I'm going to say no, but if you're not even doing toning, then I would say yes. Now keep in mind with your toning, the 15th rep-ish around there should be very hard. It should be fatigue. You should be fatigued and you should not want to do anymore. But this goes back to that same uh, question that I had earlier where it was, if I do body weight, is that enough? Well, no, it's not. But if you can only do 15 of your own body weight, then yes, it is. So there's a lot of gray area in these questions, but for the most part, for someone who's in and around about 20 pounds, 30 pounds overweight or, or vice versa, this is probably going to be okay. Now I have an article that you guys can read up on more information on this on the website and there's going to be a link around this video somewhere. Um, we also have feeds, um, email feeds, podcasts, uh, videos which you can definitely follow. There's a lot of information, informational topics like this and different things I get throughout the week and mainly I try to make it educational. I think there's the only way to really improve yourself and not be dependent upon healthcare trainers and anyone like that is to educate yourself and know what's going to be right for your body. So this is it in regards to sarcopenia. Hope that helped. Um, if you have any suggestions on different video topics you want, feel free to post under this as well and I'll definitely look at every comment. Thanks. Have a good day.